Good morning to SSE students. Today we're going to continue Chapter 2, The Basic Principles of Balanced Diets, in Unit 1, Nutrition and Health. Please find the correction for the latest homework that was assigned for you. Okay, today we're going to start with Activity 6, Qualitative Needs, Mineral Requirements, Open your books, please, to page 32 to follow up. As we all know, minerals are not a source of energy. They are, though, very necessary for the proper functioning of our body. Minerals are also found in water. Therefore, sources to find minerals in food and water. Let's start with water. Why is water essential to our bodies? 60 to 70 percent of our body is made up of water. Water is found in all tissues and is needed for many vital reactions in our bodies. Water also helps in regulating the body temperature and supplies the body with mineral salts. How can we lose water from our bodies? Water can be lost either by urination, defecation, which is the discharge of the feces from the body, transpiration, which means sweating, and by respiration by in the form of water vapor. But keep in mind that the lost water must be substituted. The second part of this activity talks about minerals. What are minerals? Minerals are inorganic substances. They are considered to be micronutrients due to their importance in our body. They do not have any energetic value. They provide zero kilojoules of energy. They are found freely in the body or fixed on tissues. They are provided by food or taken in as supplements, needed for proper functioning of the body, and if we had a lack of minerals, this would definitely lead to severe disorders. Few of the minerals that are common are found in the next document. Now, in order to start with Activity 7, a balanced diet. Please open your books to page 34. What is a food ration? A food ration is represented by a balanced food diet that consists of varied nutrients which can supply sufficient energetic and qualitative needs for maintaining proper body functions and structures without any excess, excessive calories intake to avoid obesity. A food ration is said to be balanced if it responds to all needs of the body. First, it is supposed to ensure the body's proper function. It is also supposed to ensure the body's proper structure and it has to maintain good health. To maintain a balanced food ration, one must obey the following CPL formula. C stands for carbohydrates, P stands for proteins, and L stands for lipids. The CPL formula is supposed to abide by the sp these specific ratios. 4, 2, 1, which means that Four portions of carbohydrates, which is equivalent to 55% of the total energy intake, must be supplied to the body. Two portions of proteins, which is equivalent to 15% of the total energy intake. And one portion of lipids, which is equivalent to 30% of the total energy intake. Keep in mind and note that... Among the lipid portion, 30%, which is the 
10% of this 30 is supposed to be covered by saturated lipids which have no double bonds or triple bonds. Other 10 is supposed to be covered by monosaturated lipids which can have either one double bond or one triple bond. And the last 10% is supposed to be, to be covered by polyunsaturated lipids which means that lipids that can have many double or triple bonds. Please make sure to copy the previous slides clearly on your copybooks and we will continue activity 7 in the next video.